urge him to reconsider his veto threat. We also call on Democrat leaders in the Senate to give our proposals a vote immediately in the name of fairness. Republicans will continue to do everything we can to protect all Americans from the president's top-down, one-size-fits-all, Washington-knows-best approach to health care that is driving up costs and hurting our economy. The story I recently heard from a 21-year-old Hispanic American who runs a small business in my district is becoming all too familiar. He currently employs 45 workers, and according to him, he's ready to hire 10 or 20 more. But he can't, because Obamacare makes him choose between new, higher insurance premiums or hefty fines. He said, quote, the government should be my partner so I can help my employees prosper. I can help them more than the government, but I'm literally not able to, end quote. The whole thing's a train wreck, plain and simple. Bottom line, the sooner we can delay, dismantle, and repeal the president's health care law, the sooner we can get people back to work and focus on expanding opportunity for everyone. For now, thank you for listening. And thank you for speaking in support of Fairness for All. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you, as